Hi, it's Malcolm here. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for popping along and having a look at this video. So, this is um, a two-part video. One is um, about some of the updates we've got coming along, um, and two is to show members um, a new system that I've just created recently, and I'm going to show you exactly how I created it and um, how you can use it yourself. It, there is a link already in the members area of Grey Horse Bot in the, sta uh, in the system um, part of it showing um, well, there's a link so that you can get the daily selections already if you want. Um, so, but this video is about how to do it, but it's about some of the, the things we've got coming along as well. So, what I like to do first of all is just tell you a little bit about the system, which is this one here. It's got 880 selections, 459 wins, um, and it's got a PL of 85 points and a strike rate of 52.16. Can you excuse the dog in the background? He's playing with a toy and he's teething a little bit, so he's um, he's not too happy today, but um, he'll probably <laughs> go away. In fact, I'm going to pause the video for just two seconds. Okay, so with that um, noise stopped for the moment, he'll probably come back in again in a minute, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so the system's got quite a high strike rate. Now at the moment I'm going through one of those stages where I'm looking at high strike rate systems. You've probably seen some of the emails I've put out um, and some of the other tests that we're doing within the members area and some um, just on the article section of the website. Um, and so this is one of those systems. It's not got a very um, big average winning odds, um, but I think there's a couple of ways you could possibly make money from them. You know, this is probably more about scalping than it is you know, making um, big money from uh, big winners, but um, we we'll see how it works over time, obviously. But um, it's it's worth playing around with, I think, and it gives you something else to do while you're waiting for the big winners to come in and your big winner or, or low strike rate systems that go for you know um, runners that have really good prices and, as I say, good value in them. So there's a couple of things that I wanted to show you um, that we were doing. One of them is this new random sample idea. Now, the idea behind it is that when you create a system, um, you're obviously getting a nice sequence of events. But sometimes you'd like to get a um, a different sequence or out of sequence or um, randomly pick um, runners to see if you get the same type of return or the, the, the same type of statistics um, by running it slightly different. Now, there are lots of ways of doing this, and I'm not saying this is the best way of doing it or if it's you know even a reasonably good way of doing it but it's one way of doing it um, and basically so what what we do is if we tick on random sample we get get this number on the um, left hand side here which is basically giving you um, the letter in from one to five so if we were looking at royal uh, palladium here it would be r is one o is two y is three a is out um, four and l is five now, what we can then do is pick a letter. So what we're going to do is say we're going to pick the second letter, which will probably be a vowel. So we're going to select every runner that second letter is an A. So Royal Palladium wouldn't be selected. Bit of a puzzle wouldn't be either, but this one would be. And then we're going to run the search again. Um, and as you can see, we've got 156 selections. Um, we've got some PL and we've got a strike rate, which was higher. Now, that kind of says, yeah, okay, when we do a random sample, we're still getting winners, so and we're actually getting more, so that's probably a good thing. Um, it probably works better over larger amounts than it does smaller amounts. It is only a sample of 156. But it just gives you an idea about you know picking samples and seeing how you get on with them. So you can try different letters. So we could select a B, and you can see that we've got 79. Strike rate was a bit lower, so maybe we want to stack a, stay away from... Horses would be as they start there, I know. Um, but it does show you that there are variations in it. Um, and that's that's a good thing to have a look at. So you could pick H um, and see how many we get. And again, we've only got 28. And again, it's 46%, so it's lower than the 50. Um, so, you know, you want it, to. It's just a way of looking at it. Um, as I said, it probably worked better with larger sa samples, but um, it's a new feature I've put in. The um, other new feature, let me put this back to normal actually, two secs, so if we tick that off and do search results. Okay, so we're back with our 880. Another new thing that I'm putting in is this um, show system statistics. Now, 
Um, I'm going to show you it, but it's brand new. I've only done most of this today. Okay, um, but this, I, I intend to fill this screen up and probably make it bigger. But straight away, apart from the statistics we have already at the bottom of the screen um, here, you know, like wins and strike rate and Roy and um, average per month and that sort of thing, um, I'm going to add this new screen, which actually will go in deeper if you like and come up with different statistics um, and information about the system so um, so far it's the winners I'm going to put in the losers and the um, the race race types and things like that just loads and loads of different information about the system you've just run so like the average age is 5.65 the average weight is 157.21 um, it's a favorite system so they're all favorites top weights um, averagely around 187 and um, days since last run so the average is 43 so they're all running reasonably quick um, course wins 39 distance wins 65 beaten favorites 59 and and um, first last time out was 291 there's a reason for that and I'll come back to that in a minute um, but you know so basically this screen is going to fill up with statistics so um, I thought it would be a nice um, extra on top of this because this screen is getting really full up and I, I'm really thinking about ways that I can cut down this main screen and have these little window openers to show you information if you want to see it but um, this is one way I'm looking at doing it um, obviously you've got your analyze results if you want to and you can you can analyze your re results as normal um, if you you know if you want to go through the classes so we, we picked one class in this particular case and that's where all our points are coming from but um if you want to go deeper you can obviously use the analyze results um, and one other quick thing why why we're here if you haven't seen it don't forget about the staking window um, now obviously this is recovery staking and it's, it's it's something that you know you have to decide whether you're going to do on your own I I can't suggest you do it I certainly wouldn't suggest you do it because it's quite um, um, expensive way of trying things especially you know you've got to have a good system and you've got to be very um, sure that it's going to work how you want it to work but you can run these systems um, through this as well. I'll just give you an example on this one. So we've got 81 points. What if we just used 1% of our bank and increased our stake every time our bank changed or decreased it? So basically, every time we win or lose, we get 1% of our bank, whatever our bank is at that time. Now, there are a couple of other options like only change daily and never decrease stake, which I wouldn't suggest, but um, this is one way of doing it. So if we check results, you can see that actually our bank's done quite well. Um, take off 100 off that to make it 120 because I haven't done that yet. So basically the bank's 120. So that's put on, you know, 40 odd points almost onto the bank. Um, 35 points basically onto the bank. Um, which, am I right? No, that's not, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting worse as I get older. Um, 15, <laughs> 35 points onto your bank. Um, so that's that's you know a little bit better. There are other staking plans you can use. I'm still working on stop at a winner. I've just started putting it in. Um, but we got the up and down recovery, which is actually a bit of a favourite of mine at the moment. Um, so basically, what you do is you go down when you have a win. So you go back to normal state. So I always put this up high. So basically, whenever I get a win, my state goes back down to its original state, which in, in this case would be one point of a hundred pound bank or a hundred point bank. Um, and then every time I um, lose, I go up by one point. Now, that's recovery, obviously, but not in the way a lot of people will think about recovery. It's not like going trying to recover all my losses. All I'm doing is is going. Okay, I've lost one point. My next bet's going to be two points. My next bet's going to be three points. My next bet's going to be four points until I get a winner. As soon as I get a winner, it doesn't matter how much I win. I go straight back down to um, uh, the normal one point. Now. This system's had nine losers in a row, so you know you've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, you've got to put stop losses in and things like that whenever you stake him, and you probably wouldn't use one percent of your bank. Um, it will depend on how much you know your losing runs going to be, but you know one percent of your bank's quite a lot, so you have to be a little bit careful with that. Um, but if I run that as well, just to show you, okay, and as you can see, that's done a little bit better. Um, at 296 or 196 points now so that's really added quite a bit to the bank um, but there was, a, there was a drawdown to the bank um, to 73 so you know you've got to be a bit careful um, when you're using this sort of system now the other thing I, I want to show you is that because although you're only going up by one point you're still losing so, so remember that that's six 
just for argument's sake, because we had nine losers in a row. Um, 6, 5, 11, 15, um, 18, 20, 21 points we'd have lost in one go. And if we'd gone to um, up further, 21, add, not, um, add 7 is 28, add 8 is 35, add 9 um, is 40. 40 something or other, <laughs> nearly 50 points. So, you know, you'd be a bit careful. <laughs> I'm a programmer, you wouldn't believe it, would you? Um, <laughs> so be a little bit careful with um, with with your numbers and your staking. So, you know, you probably, if, if you work out your um, your longest losing run from your strike rate, um, and then you get a good idea of what you could happen to have to pay out. So be a bit careful with that. But that's another way you could do things if you want. Okay, so um, there's um, a couple of new features and a feature that we've already got in there, so let's carry on with the system now.